We're going to let our flight director, Ty Huntington, take flight it away. Go for lunch. And 20 seconds. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have liftoff. The vehicle's pitching down range. All right, we're more than 30 seconds into flight. Telemetry showing 33 out of 33 engines as it's pitching down range. Booster, chip, avionics, power, and telemetry nominal. Hearing good call outs on the ship and booster avionics. You just heard the rumble hitting us about six miles away. Watching Starship arc into just endless blue skies right now. Vehicle supersonic. More than a minute into flight, the vehicle supersonic. Max Q. So we just passed through max Q. That's the greatest stress the vehicle is going to experience on the way uphill. Reminder that all of our teams down here on the ground are now looking at systems on the tower. They just did a manual check through. That's going to inform that manual flight director's decision. Next moment coming up, though, is going to be hot staging. Don't take your eyes off it. It's one heck of a light show. What a gorgeous ascent. Six ship engines getting ready to ignite. That's gonna happen while we're still attached. We can still see the ship's engines from the ground. Got a little under 30 seconds away from that. We are hearing good call outs on the tower preparedness from the manual checks. Reminder though, we've still got automated checkouts on the booster and the ship itself. But as of right now, our manual checks and our manual commanding is looking go go for a catch. Booster engine cutoff. That is incredible news. We just heard the call out for booster uh, right, engine Nico. cutoff. Engine startup. Most engines cut off down to those Stay middle three. Startup. All right, hot stage Ship, confirmed. We've got normal. a booster hopefully on our way back to us and a ship now making its ascent burn into space. How's it going in Hawthorne, Jesse? It's great over here. You can hear the crowd screaming for every milestone. Uh, the booster is now making its way back down to Earth. Looks like we have 12 of those 13 engines uh, ignited. Uh, we're using the engines that actually gimbal. We so are go for booster return. An excellent call out there. We are go for booster Ship return. Ship avionics, power and telemetry nominal. There's a lot of criteria that needed to line up to ensure that we could have a, safe, a safe booster catch. And it sounds like we got the go for that. Booster now hovering as it aligns with the tower for catch. Booster coming in. Get down ready to for that boom, Kate. Down to three engines. Booster ready for check out. Megadora has caught the booster. You heard it here, Vexilla has caught the booster. 
once again for the second time a successful catch by the launch tower this is the same tower the launch pad where that booster took off from just seven and a half minutes ago great view from the Both chopstick right. arms looking at those hypersonic grid fins that steer the booster for that precision landing and it almost I mean, looks like can, it's flapping its wings. Yeah, you can <laughs> see just how small that catch fitting is, too, on something that's just so massive. That was absolutely insane. <laughs> Meanwhile. We're not done. But wait, not there's more. Yet. Wow. That is just absolutely stunning. And this, of course, uh, a gorgeous view there from the tower looking down at the top of the booster.